we say matins at the beginning of each day and the opening, the way we sing the opening to matins. I really, really love music. Um, and every morning when I hear that song and we sing that together, it just starts the day with it helps me to it helps me to really just open my eyes to the day with eyes on God and I and and being in harmony with the other students. It's just a beautiful start to the morning and having that for almost three years now, it's just become a source of real um, rejuvenation and hope. When I'm approaching each day, if I think of that, I remember my time at Murphy, I'll go, okay, now we're starting the day. <laughs> it's all going to be okay. God is good. <laughs> Murfield is founded on a rich tradition of social action. From the beginning, the college was set up to provide theological education for ordinands from working class backgrounds who otherwise would not have access to training. This spirit of inclusivity continues today with a diverse student body. Throughout its history, Murfield has welcomed those who spent their lives fighting for justice. Bishop Trevor Huddleston, anti-apartheid campaigner and priest. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, theologian and anti-Nazi dissident who spent time with the community. And Emmeline Pankhurst, leader of the suffragette movement who spoke here while campaigning. New monasticism is really building on the ideas of theologian Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who suggested in 1935 that the restoration of the church will only come from a life lived in accordance with the Sermon on the Mount in the discipleship of Christ. He gave several markers for this, among them a disciplined life of mutual exhortation and reconciliation and a life undergirded by deep theological reflection. I thoroughly enjoyed my two years at Murfield. I wanted a place where corporate prayer was the order of the day because I believe that when I leave the college and I get back to the real world, prayer is what will sustain me. And I can assure you that the rhythm of daily prayer has been sustaining me since I left the college. The emphasis being on a life sustained by a rhythm of prayer, a liturgical life that enriched and strengthened us in our learning, in our desire, our hunger for God, and our learning to grow in love for him and for one another. Then there is that sense of being part of an incarnational theology and an incarnational ministry, which takes us beyond our comfort zone sometimes to serve people and places we may not have thought about when we started off in this wonderful aspect of our lives and of our calling. So we serve each other in and the brethren in church and in the refectory, um, in our daily tasks, uh, have lectures and study, tutor groups and specific common room roles. I think for me, sort of before I came to visit, it was the strong Anglo-Catholic tradition. And once I actually came for the visit, I think it was the sense of welcome and community and the diversity of voices that felt very welcome here. Yeah, for me as well, it was absolutely the community. Like I was made to feel very welcome as a spouse and, you know, being um, invited for all the meals as well and being able to eat in college sort of really helps you not feel isolated as a spouse. And we knew that Murfield had much more of a family aspect to it where we could uh, meet together. Uh, in college and that Shannon and the children would be as much part of the community as I would be as a student which is really important to us. It's been really helpful this year being able to do that I think. The Durham Common Award programmes taught at Murfield offer pathways that cater to a variety of needs including both undergraduates and postgraduate study. Our modules include biblical studies, church history, New Testament Greek, as well as modules in pastoral care and reflective practice, taught by tutors offering wisdom gathered from their own ministry. 
This learning is further enriched by students' experiences during their placements, where they can see how theological learning connects with practice. Our teaching staff includes academics renowned in various fields, including liturgical development, philosophy of religion and Pauline theology. I've been really enjoyed the academic opportunities that I've had at the College of the Resurrection. I've especially enjoyed the freedom to study a breadth and depth of different ideas and being able to explore those different areas with other people. The placements for me have been key in taking what we learn in community here out into a missional context. Throughout my time at Murfield, I've experienced a variety of parish placements and sector placements, including chaplaincy in a mental health trust. I think from a spouse's point of view, learning, learning what the expectations need to be for the family and also what's expected of Lewis. Um, in a parish so that me and the boys are prepared for when, when we move on from here that we're not suddenly thrown into the deep end and we kind of lose touch of family we know what Lewis is going to have to do and we know what we need to do for him and for ourselves to sustain our family life. So as a weekly boarder with a family at home one of the challenges for me has actually been holding all my vocations so being fully intentionally in community being a wife and being a mum. We're two families living on the same site and we have our own lives and get on with them. We overlap in worship, but there's another dimension which is very difficult to put your finger on and it is something to do about an, a kind of unseen symbiosis or sharing of something together which is partly to do with the nature of the common life which both have, mirroring each other in a way, in our own styles. The life of the college here is, um, draws a lot on that monastic foundation. We copy a lot of what the, um, the brethren do in Upper Church. Each student gets a member of the community as a spiritual director, and that's been a source of real help for me in my spiritual journey, in my training, my formation at college. Recently we welcomed one of the brethren to our tutor group to share his life story and his calling, which was astounding and hugely inspiring. A life of true sacrificial discipleship in countries where persecution and risk to life was prevalent. The college is a community of ordinands and staff and people that is just learning together, being formed together in in the love of God. We're learning from the the example of the the brethren in um, in their spirituality and in their prayer, being guided by the Holy Spirit. The specialness of the community life together. Is something that will never leave me in the rest of my life. Good food, good company, <laughs> good prayer. <laughs>